Once upon a time, and if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes king. Oh. Next in line was the royal viceroy. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. The birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. If he convinces the animal lady to marry him, what happens to your plan to become king? I'll come back and finish the story right after I have my tuna sandwich. What's shoving? I'm going, I'm going. Now, where did I leave off? Oh, right. The superior cat and the adequate dog were face to face with a fire breathing dragon. There are times, my canine friend, when one must stand tall against an enemy and not flee in terror. This is not one of those times. Escape the dragon for now. Huh? They still had a problem. In order to reach this woman, we have to go up this road. The dragon will be waiting for us. But the cat was not only handsome, he was smart. And an idea came to him. It seems like a rotten thing to do to anyone, even a fire breathing dragon. But this is a desperate situation. Come on. <laughs> You take one, and I'll take the other. Kitty cat! He's so adorable! <laughs> we want to play with the dragon! We want to play with the dragon! He's so adorable! He's such a cute dragon! Oh. Let's use the dragon! <gasps> it could use a moisturizer! He has such nice coloring! feel a little dragony when we don't look our best. If you want to make it up to us, how about a lift? Sure, where to? There's a lady named Elizabeth who lives in a cottage in the Blue Forest. Oh, sure. The one who takes care of animals and won't marry the prince? <laughs> ah! And so they all headed for the dwelling of the lovely Elizabeth. Finally, the magnificent cat had had enough. He abandoned Drusilla Minerva in the forest, and they were never seen again. <gasps> huh? Oh, you're right. That's too rotten even for me. I, I mean for the wonderful cat. No, he didn't do that. We <laughs> We'll drop these adorable children safely off at the castle, then head up there. Happy now? Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, now, here comes real trouble. As they rode, they passed one of the animals that Elizabeth fed, a repulsive little cat named Nur... Uh, named Lamrin. <laughs> yeah, Lamrin. Lamrin was the only animal Elizabeth fed who wasn't nice. In fact... Hey, if I tell the Viceroy about this, he'll reward me when he becomes king. <laughs> He ran all the way to the castle and spilled the beans. Maybe he'll name me officially the cutest kitty cat in the kingdom. <laughs> Looks that way. They're probably gonna try and convince Elizabeth to marry the prince. If she does, he becomes king instead of me. That would destroy my whole plan to loot the kingdom. Well, I help you out. Huh? So what's my reward? I'll give you a reward. Mail him to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> oh, did I say Abu Dhabi? Sorry, I read that wrong. <clears throat> what he actually said was, I'll give you a reward. Throw him in the tower! Uh, but why? <laughs> I hate snitches. But I'm loyal. I'm cute. I'm cute and loyal. And did I mention adorable? While you're at it, throw the prince in there with him. I'm not taking any chances, and I better take care of that woman he wants to marry. The royal dog catcher threw Lamron in the prison tower, and then he threw the prince in there with him. You can't do this to me. I'm the ruler of this kingdom. Not after tomorrow, you ain't. While the viceroy went to visit a wicked witch he kept on staff, I asked for a poison apple. Ah, oh, apples are too healthy. I'm making spaghetti bolognese. You'll see what it does when the royal food taster gets here. <laughs> royal food taster! Any food you need tasted today? Maybe something yummy? Try some of this. Mmm, smells simply scrumptious. <laughs> Hmm, not bad. Could use a pinch of oregano, maybe a drop of olive oil. And I would suggest some maybe... <laughs> Will he sleep forever? He'll sleep until a true love comes and kisses him. <laughs> That'll be forever. Hmm. All right, go. Take care of her. I will. But first, I'll transform myself into someone she would never suspect was a wicked the witch. Room. <laughs> Off she went with the spaghetti of doom. Before long, she was there. Cottage. Here you go, a little mole. Oh. Here you go, a little chicken. She's so nice to us. I ought to lay her an egg. I would too if I could. Which one is the right choice? The man who can stand up and fight. The one who has the most haunting voice. The artist who has a gift to write. If he said he needs me, I'd feel like my life had begun. Which one is the right choice? Which one? <clears throat> Hello, is uh, anybody at home? Yes. Buongiorno, bellissima. I see you feed all the animals. I thought it was about time someone fed you. Why, that's very nice of you. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh. No, I 
can't tell her not to eat the spaghetti of doom. She invited the chef in. It smells delicious, but I'm on a diet. I shouldn't be eating pasta. But I slaved over a hot cauldron, I mean a, a, a stove all day. Just a taste. <laughs> well, since you worked so hard on it. <laughs> yes. And so the evil witch had succeeded in her... <laughs> Quiet, Odie. The evil witch had succeeded in her mission, largely because the heroic cat and OK dog arrived two minutes too late. Two minutes can make all the difference in the world. Two minutes can mean life and love and happiness. Or it can mean this. <laughs> huh? Odie, it's just a story. Odie! Doesn't that dog understand this is a fairy tale? I'm gonna have to find him and explain that to him. But first, I'm gonna get something to eat. Why don't you join me? Once upon a time, that if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes king. Oh. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. The birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. I asked for a poison apple. I'm making spaghetti bolognese. Want to hear the rest of the story? It has a happy ending. Not everything in life does, but fairy tales do. That's what's great about them. But if you don't want to hear it... Okay, have a seat. Well, as you can imagine, the animals were all very sad about what had happened to the lovely Elizabeth. She was always so kind to us. Hey, who's that cat that just arrived? That's Prince John's cat, I think. Prince John's cat? I've always admired him. He's so wonderful. Uh, where'd he go? He's inside the cottage. Mm. Sorry, I smelled the spaghetti bolognese and I had to have a taste. <laughs> oh, and they could use uh, just a touch of basil. <laughs> Maybe Elizabeth is just asleep. But she snores way more dainty. They quickly discussed what they had to do. It was the beautiful lady cat who came up with the answer. We have to get him to a wizard. Where are you going to find the wizard at this hour? Oh, oh, I know where there's a wizard near here who's open 24 hours. Well then, let's get in there. Through the forest they raced, raced to the dwelling of Merle, the all-night we never close wizard. It looks like the spaghetti of doom. 
My wife used to make that. You've got to help him, oh great wizard. You just have to. I can't help him, but you can. He sleeps the sleep of magic. I can only be awakened by a kiss from one who loves him. Judging by the concern on your face, I would say that's you. You mean, just kiss him? <laughs> ah, give it a shot. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey, is there any more of that great spaghetti? Wow, it worked! <laughs> <laughs> Not only did they wake up the superb cat, but they learned something else. Is that how to awaken our friend Elizabeth? Indeed! A kiss from a true love is all that is required. And I know who her true love is. Come on, let's go get Prince John. <laughs> doing here? We just heard terrible news. Yes, this bluebird tells us that the Viceroy has locked Prince John in the tower. Huh? Huh? He can't do that. Mm. We need Prince John to kiss Elizabeth and awaken her. And then he needs to marry her so he can be king and stop that evil man. Oh my gosh! I mean, but the wise cat knew there was only one answer to the problem. We are! Everybody, follow me! And so all the animals went off to rescue Prince John and also save the fair Elizabeth. As they marched towards the castle, others joined in, animals who'd been befriended over the years by Elizabeth. Why not the castle? The evil Viceroy had decided not to wait to seize power. Guards, from now on you are to address me as your highness and follow orders. Is that clear? Yes, your, your highness. highness. But you aren't king until tomorrow. And only if Prince John doesn't marry. Ha! How can he marry? He's in the tower prison, and the one woman who he'd marry is sleeping for all eternity. <laughs> I'm taking the throne now. <laughs> Your Highness, there's an army marching on the castle. An army? An army of barbarians? An army of pirates? It seems to be an army of squirrels and cats and dogs and chickens. <laughs> Just keep the gate locked. We have nothing to fear from squirrels and cats and dogs and chickens. While well, up in the tower... It is no use. Even if I could escape from the cell, Elizabeth will not marry me. Sure she would. She's crazy about you. <gasps> she is? Sure. She thinks you're even cuter than I am, and that's real cute. You just need to convince her you're brave and good. I am, but how do I prove it to... What's that commotion? The prince had no idea what was going on, and the rescue party didn't have much more of one either. How do we get inside the castle? Yeah, the gate is locked. I know. Huh? I'll dig us a tunnel inside. <laughs> how long will that take? Oh, not more than a oh. month or two. We don't have time for that. <gasps> Leave it to me. Stop them! Stop those animals!
Did somebody kiss me? have taken over the whole castle. Do you think somebody's going to rescue oh. us? Consider yourself rescued. Ow! Not you. <laughs> the whole castle's flooded with animals! Uh, we gotta get out of here. I'm going to take the tax money I've collected so far and flee! <laughs> We're with, with you. you! It looked like the bad guys were going to escape with all the money the evil Viceroy had stolen from the people of the city. <laughs> the Viceroy, his aide, and the wicked witch fled in terror of the dragon. Turn the catapult so it faces the castle. You want to get away from the dragon? Quick, use the catapult. Get right in and I'll fling you to safety. Thank you. <laughs> All comfy now? Good. <laughs> huh? No, we're not to the happier ever after part yet. We still have to wake up the fair Elizabeth and get her to marry Prince John, remember? <laughs> After that, it was pretty simple. Prince John kissed Elizabeth. She woke up and realized who had saved her. Oh, you, Prince John. Aww. And all these animals. He was willing to fight a fire-breathing dragon for you. For me. <laughs> it seems you do have heart and courage. Then will you honor me by joining your heart to mine in marriage? But of course. We'll be happy together, truly birds of a feather. Having someone who cares answered my prayers. We will be happy, happy, we'll be so happy. If they put us on trial, we'll be gone for a while. We'll be our home. I once wore the crown. Now you're going down. I'm together on the way. Wish good times upon ya. Lots of pie and lasagna. We will be happy, 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 so happy. We'll be happy together. Well, at least they finally picked out a good color for me. <laughs> but apart from that, everyone lived happily ever after. Hey, look. The Prince and the Fair Elizabeth are home. I, I mean, John and Liz. Garfield, did you eat our picnic? Must be time for lunch or dinner or some meal. So, did you like the story, boy?
Once upon a time, Prince John had to find a bride, and he needed one soon. That if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes King Ho. Next in line was the royal viceroy. He was not a nice man. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. Mmm, good burrito. Hope you had something tasty while I was gone. Now, where were we? Add one cup of flour to eggs and whisk thoroughly through until smooth. Add heavy cream. <laughs> huh? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Wrong book. Oh. <laughs> Although that one was getting pretty interesting. Now then, so the brilliant cat and the not brilliant dog were determined to help Prince John marry so he could be king. But time was running out for him to find a bride. I have dreamed for a mate who cared about life and beauty and the world around her. And me. Me would be nice. You didn't find anyone you could marry? Year after year, I spend my days alone. No one comes near, I'm always on my own. The only life I've known. Dreaming every night, I'll find Princess Wright. A woman who'll demand me, who'll love and understand me. When will she meet me? When will she greet me? She is the woman who will complete me. Where is she hiding? Where is she residing? Things will be so fine on the day she is mine. On the day she is mine. In all my days of searching, I have found but one, and she will not marry me. You found, you found one? Yes. She is caring and compassionate. Her name is Elizabeth. <sighs> and she is a commoner. Oh, a commoner. A commoner! <gasps> Prince John told the royal food taster. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Are you quite finished? Fine. So Prince John told the royal food taster about the woman named Elizabeth, who lived in a cottage in the blue forest to be near the animal she so dearly loved and cared for. She would feed the friendly squirrels. She would feed the stray cats and dogs. She would feed the colorful bluebird. She would feed mice and moles. And she would even feed the real disgusting creatures you sometimes find out in the woods. The birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. Ah, uh, that's because I love them. I love you too, Prince John. But I will not be your bride. Huh? Why not? The man I marry must show he has extraordinary heart. I have heart. You are a good man, Prince John, but you have lived a pampered life. You have never been called upon to show you possess that quality. <sighs> that is sadly true. <laughs> How before the deadline could I possibly prove to her I am all that? I cannot even prove it to myself. Sure you can. You go out to the blue forest, find your lady love, and convince her to be your bride. You oh. think I should? You're the hero of the story. Act like it. 
Ah, my cat is right. I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> I shall ride into the blue forest and find her now. <gasps> Hold on. Back in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, thanks. <laughs> I don't know why I thank him. I can't talk and he can't hear me. <sighs> okay, now. Where was I? Oh, yes. The prince admitted his cat was right. And... Well, if you wanted pizza... You should have ordered eight of them like I did. <laughs> the prince said, I shall ride into the blue forest and find her now. Like a man possessed, the prince rode his fiery charger out of the castle and off towards the blue forest. He was determined not to return until he reached his lady love and convinced her to become his bride. <laughs> Don't get so happy yet, it's not that easy. Hmm. Meanwhile, the dashing cat thought his troubles were over. See how it works, pup? Prince John will get her to marry him, the evil viceroy will not become king, and all my problems will be solved. <laughs> oh no! What's a shoe shot? Some perfume! Stop! Correction. Not all my problems will be solved. It's bad, Simon! You're watching the air, Gabriel! Have a day! We want to play dress up with the kitty cat! We want to play dress up with the kitty cat! And this still is a bad color for me. Look! It's a puppy dog! <laughs> Looks like the prince is heading up into the blue forest. So, like, if he convinces Ow. the animal lady to marry him, what happens to your plan to become king? He won't convince her because he won't get to her. There's only one road into the Blue Forest, and I've arranged to have it guarded by someone. <laughs> Towards the Blue Forest, Prince John rode, determined that nothing would stop him from reaching his fair Elizabeth. But something could stop him. He could be stopped by... Uh, the thing that could stop him was... Oh, wait, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, good heavens. Look what time it is. I have to go annoy the mailman. I'll be right back. Whoa. Oh, it's just you, Garfield. I thought maybe you'd have some trick in mind to scare me. You know, like dressing up as a fire-breathing dragon. Huh? Me? Sweet, kindly me. Fire-breathing dragon, huh? Hmm. Well, here's your mail. <laughs> Scaring the mailman is not nice, but it is part of my job description. <laughs> Bill, 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 John has jury duty. Bill, fire-breathing dragon, huh? <clears throat> But as Prince John made his way into the forest, Prince John rode as a man possessed, determined to reach the fair Elizabeth, a man he encountered warned him of the danger that lay ahead. A fire-breathing dragon? Up the road a piece. You can't miss him. He's a dragon and he breathes fire. I will not be denied my true love. I am not afraid of any fire-breathing <laughs> dragon. <laughs> Unfortunately, my horse is. But I will not be denied! Deeper and deeper into the forest he went. But there was no sign of this monster he'd been warned about. Fire-breathing dragon, ha! What nonsense! What foolishness! <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> no, I wouldn't exactly describe Prince John as brave. Uh, courageous? No. Stupid. You're getting warmer. 
I guess the word that best describes him is... Barbecued. I'd say medium rare. Somehow, the prince made it back to the castle. There, spirits were down and taxes were going up. A tax on using adverbs. A tax on clipping your toenails on a Wednesday. A tax on Prince John turns 21 at noon tomorrow. If he isn't married, that nasty man becomes king. What are we gonna do? not making up your mind? Hmm. You know that real dumb thing Prince John just tried? Uh-huh. Well, I hate to say it, but I think we have to try it too. And so the adorable cat and the not too bright dog set off for the blue forest. Prior to takeoff, please make sure that your seat and tray tables are in the upright position and that all electronic devices are powered off. Are you ready? <laughs> and away we go! <laughs> I hope someone comes by to pass out those little bags of peanuts. <laughs> they had gotten about as far as Prince John got when... <laughs> Do not be afraid, faithful and furry friend. There's no reason to be afraid of a fire-breathing dragon. None whatsoever. I'll be back in the castle. Let me know how things turn out. And there they stood. The brave cat and the mediocre dog, face to face with the dragon. And then... And then... And then? And then? You know what goes great after pizza? A tuna salad sandwich on rye. Cooking. Oh, hi, Garfield. Huh? You probably noticed I'm not cooking. What? <sighs> I will in a moment. <laughs> it's just that sometimes I like to come out here and look at the stars. They're so peaceful. They're so beautiful. <gasps> look! You see that? It's a shooting star! Wow! You know what a shooting star is, Garfield? It's a meteoroid that's entering the Earth's atmosphere. Great, let's do dinner. <laughs> It was terrific! I wish I'd been up at the observatory watching it through their big telescope. Dinner on the table! Dinner on the table! Dinner on the table! Uh, Professor Bonkers, did you see the shooting star? Yes! A meteor from the Beta Blue Space Quadrant. Radar says it was down to the size of a gumball, and it landed in the North Hills. Beta Blue, you say? Some scientists claim that meteors from Beta Blue have regressive powers. They say anything that comes into contact with one is turned back into its prehistoric form. Yes, Gertrude. I'm hiking up here in the North Hills. It's very invigorating out here, and I'm having such a <laughs> I just found something odd, Gertrude. It's some sort of glowing rock. It's like a meteor or a... Oh. <laughs> 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 
As I was saying, Gertrude, it's very invigorating up here. Really, really brings out the caveman in you. I'm sorry I didn't cook dinner earlier last night, guys. Maybe lunch at Vino's will make up for it. Works for me. Oh, gum. I can't stand people who chew gum and just discard it and make a mess. Isn't that awful, Garfield? That's so rude. Away! Away, you get out of my restaurant, you pesky flies! All of you! Ah, Senor Arbuckle, welcome to Vito's. Thanks, Vito. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Huh. Odie, come in and join us as soon as you get that gum off your paw. My cat will have the left side of the menu. <laughs> Excellent choice. Excuse me, waiter. There's a fly in my soup. Oh, one moment, senor. And the right side of the menu. One of our most popular sides waiter, of the menu. There's a fly in my soup. Un momento, senor. Uh, please. Anything else, Garfield? Oh, yes. The back of the menu. Oh, one of my specialties. I still have this fly in my soup. Senor, can you not see I'm busy with another customer? Tell me, what is a big deal about a fly in your soup? Well, he is rather large. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh! Can we make that order to go? Vito, do something! You need a swatter the size of a football field. I'm gonna call for help. This is a Vito, a Vito's pizzeria. I would like to report a monster. Thank you. They'll be here in two seconds. One, two. What took them so long? What's this monster you reported? It's a fly. All right. Huh? No, officer, it's a monster fly. It's huge and it has razor sharp teeth. And it could eat more than I can. Ah. I should run you all in. Next time, I'll just order a salad. I shall go prepare the left oh. side and the right side of the menu. Don't forget the back. That's the best part. Garfield, where's Odie? Huh? Odie! What? Odie! Here, boy! Hmm. I wonder where Odie went. <gasps> Odie! <gasps> We're being drenched in doggy drool. We need help. Yeah. Help. help. Super size slurp. Help. 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 Ow. Ow. Exactly what I said. Uh huh. I see. Okay, thanks. Now it's a giant <laughs> puppy dog. <laughs> Attention, all units. We have a report from a guy in Vito's Pizzeria. He claims that there's a big puppy dog outside. Puppy dog? 
Sounds like this is right up my alley as a dog catcher. <laughs> That's my dog! Well, I'm your landlord, and your lease says you can only keep a small dog in this apartment. This is not a small dog. <laughs> Oh, cry all you want. I don't care. I'm a landlord. Oh, okay, you're right. It is a small dog. He hasn't licked you yet. Garfield, we have to figure out a way to get him out of the city. Uh, maybe into the countryside. I know. Throwing a stick so he can fetch it? But how will that... I get it. Great idea! How do you lose a mutt the size of a shopping mall? All units, let the puppy dog go. He's headed up to the North Hill. Ah, uh, North Hills, huh? What's the big deal catching a little puppy dog? <laughs> Come out, little puppy dog, wherever you are. Here, boy. I don't see why the police were making such a big deal. Catching dogs is easy. They're small and harmless and hey! The other men didn't say anything about rain today. Help! Help! I'll never catch another dog again! Leave me alone! <laughs> You see him, Garfield? Maybe we could lure him with a 10-ton doggy treat. Odie! I don't know what happened, but let's not worry about that now. Let's get him home. Hey, there's the truck of that dumb dog catcher who's always chasing us. Don't worry about him. He's too stupid to hurt you. He's a real Neanderthal.